Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8 of Aegis Plays Valheim. So, in the previous episode, we went adventuring. We went into the Black Forest. We, kill, we cleared two burial chambers with my bad spelling of burial. And, of course, we died to some skeletons. But we managed to get 11 circling cores. That was their proper name. I just couldn't remember them. So thus, we're well on our way to the next phase of our plan. Let me just get rid of some of this meat here. I will have a quick little bonfire session in a moment, but not right now. Oops, that's in the other chest. The resin there. I've got resin in this chest too. Okay. Um, we needed the bones, we needed the hide. So that we could upgrade our leather. I'm not going to worry about upgrading the club because we're actually going to progress past that in a second. Let's give ourselves a cape. I can upgrade the cape too. Okay, I can upgrade the bow, but not just yet. Okay, let's put my clothes back on. I know how you guys like to see me running around bare bum, but no. Okay, let's put the cores in here. And the grayling eyes. Okay, that's what I was putting my monies. Okay, we need another chest. But first we need to go get more wood. I'm sure these guys have honey for me. Yeah, bees doing their part for the war effort. Okay, let's go and get some more wood. We've like almost deforested this whole entire area here, but That was nearly on my head. Probably got lucky from that other tree. Yeah. Oh, that tree's falling. Whee! Bye-bye, log. Okay. Let's go to number eight. We now have this, but we don't have enough stone. But we can gather stone now, so... I won't wait. Well, he wants to say hi to me. Okay, so we need to gather us some stone. And there's plenty of rocks here. Including some free ones.
Okay, we've got 17 stone, we need 40. Very stubborn stone, this one. Okay, how are we looking? So we need a 40, we got our 40. Let's get our cores. We only need a 10. Oop, you're carrying too much. I can believe that. Okay. Do that boom. Oh, look, you're not carrying too much anymore. Okay, so this is our charcoal maker. Hello, you saw you wanted to snap. There we go. And this is a smelter. But in order to get them to work, as this birdie's gonna, gonna tell me now, I need to make charcoal. Okay, so we've got a bit of stone, Let's put the wood in here, and he's going to make us charcoal. Uh, do I have enough wood to build us a chest? Yes, I do. So we go here to the crafty, we make a furniture. Like that. And I should still be able to reach that hole. Yeah, with a bit of convincing, so we're not going to put that one there. We will put it over there. Okay. I'm not going to stand here for the moment. We're just going to leave that to do its thing. We're going to go get more wood. And I'm carrying a fair bit of stone. No, I'm not. I will be honest, now that we've cleared that first boss, I'm waiting and waiting here for the invasion message. Okay, so we've got more wood, but we need much more than what we've got. Coming from a stem to regen. Fall on him, yes. I 
could imagine my skills have dropped quite a bit. We had those few annoying deaths. Probably waited. Not quite, but almost. Okay, so we're going to put more thingy in the charcoal maker. See, ideally, we actually want a lot more than what I'm busy crafting now. But we aren't quite there yet, so it's a hindrance. We can go in there. Uh, we're also storing our feathers here. That one's got a resin. We're gonna go and just gonna throw this all here in the corner for the moment. It shouldn't despawn by the time we get back. Now we're on food. Food's good. We've even got backup food. Okay, we're gonna try to go clear some of those copper mines quickly and bring us our first load of copper. See, we've marked them two over there. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll find another burial mount. Maybe in the next video, I'll craft this damn bridge that I keep burning here. It would honestly make more sense. So also doing this the, the first time around, right? I'll be able to get access to my... Oh. I'll get access to a pool cart, which will make getting back and forth way easier. And I'll need the bridge to get the push cart over the water. So, same like before, we're going to use this as our checkpoint. We don't need to repair our gear just yet. And just a quick note when it comes to things like iron and copper, I'm not iron, yeah. yeah, copper, tin, steel, whatever you want to call it, it is very heavy. So, yeah. Expect a few trips. 
Oh, look at this. This is another boss shrine. What do you know? One star boar, that's actually the boar you'd want for our taming. Okay, where's this guy? This one here. This would be a nice little halfway house. Because it's right here on the border. Okay, so we got a pickaxe here. And just so everybody knows, these things actually go quite deep. So like you think you hit the bottom, as you can see, I'm just going lower and lower. And it goes much lower than what I'm actually sitting at. Let's do this quickly. I want to kill this guy. No, oh, one star. There we go. He helped me get my wood. No, I need more than. Okay, we're not quite finished with the spots. So. We're going to get lots of wood, lots of stone. So we're going to do this. We're going to place a crafting station so nothing spawns next to us. Chest. And a fireplace. Because, what is it? It's night time. And we using Karen. Gathering. There we go. Got my first piece of copper ore. And in all honesty, I will get a lot of stone doing this. The trick to mining copper is actually not to start from the top. Just to get like an outline of it. Mm. 
And then like I'm busy doing now, I'm digging down, right? That is ideally what you want to do. Let's kill this guy. So yeah, here we are excavating our very first copper mine. See, so he's also running away from me because the fire is right here. They're not a big fan of fireplaces. I should need to repair my pickaxe. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm hoping it. I've got my hoe with me, yeah. Please tell me you're sheltered. Yes, you're sheltered. There we go. Rude. This is my operation here. See, the thing is, we already know that there's a spawn point just below me, or these graylings. Leave my stuff. The thing is, I don't have health. I'm not health stamp. Ah, uh, it's also raining, so my fireplace is out.
This is not working in my favor because of that spawn point. I don't have health. Okay, with those guys messing me around now. This adventure's taking too long. Because we haven't even started mining this out yet. Notice my stam and everything will now replenish much faster. Because I've got the bonus. Put that in there. You see how heavy that was? It's quite heavy. Okay. Can't really see where I'm jumping. Oh, I fell back into my own hole. See, we haven't even touched the surface of this yet. You can see all that stone numbers again, all that nice lovely stone. The nice part about this is once I'm finished digging out this hole, right, this copper node, the next trip will be so much easier because I'll have the upgraded pickaxe. Oh, I 
and my pick just broke. And we won't have to worry about that. Okay, we're sitting at 21. That's pretty much all I'll be able to carry home. Okay, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to be able to carry home. So we are nowhere near finished this mound, as you can see. We're just getting started on it. But I'm going to head back home. And in the next video, we will hopefully be able to upgrade some of our stuff. We'll redo this trick again. And I may build that bridge over here in the next video. We'll see. Yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed our new episode. And we shall see you in the next one.